virus in Pakistan, army food. In this dream, I was thinking, what is in the food of Pakistan army that the enemy can contaminate to harm them? Then I hear a voice saying, it's the dollar and fuel. If those two run out, the army will become paralyzed and won't be able to make any movement. Then I think in my mind that fuel is bought from dollars. If dollars run out, they won't be able to buy the fuel as well. Then I see that the condition of Pakistan has worsened. Pakistan had to pay the debt installment which we didn't have. If we pay the installment, there won't be any dollar reserves. One or two army officers suggest that we should ask the overseas Pakistanis to send us dollars so that we can buy fuel. I ask myself, for how long will they keep on sending the dollars? They must have their own needs as well. Why is army making such inefficient plans? Then the debt installment is paid and remaining dollar reserves are near to none. Then I see army chief imposing all kinds of restrictions to reduce expenses. So much so that the TV channels also start broadcasting public service messages for the citizens to adopt simpler lifestyles. All extra activities like sports and events are also limited. Then the army openly admits that the situation is very bad. On the other hand, the enemy rolls out its plans to create chaos in four to five big cities so that the things get out of control for army. Then I go to see a big army officer. I think it was the house of a lieutenant general. I wait for him there so that I can tell him about my dreams. After waiting for a while, I go outside for something. I find a lot of security outside, and the house was protected with a blockade on both sides of the road. Suddenly, two big cars appear. Gates are open, and they enter the house. I also go inside immediately so that I can meet the officer. When I go inside, I find out it's no other but the chief of army staff. Then I realize that this was the reason of this much blockade and security. I recall a dream of mine in which the life of chief of army staff was in danger. I ask myself if it's that time. Anyways, I go inside and look for the chief. I find him in the TV lounge, probably. I say my salam to him and tell him that I have to tell him an important thing. He takes me to the drawing room where I start telling him about my dreams. He listens to me calmly. I tell him about Ghazwa e Hind as well, and also how the chaos will ensue and situation will go out of hands, and how the Third World War would start. Also, what should be the strategy of Pakistan. I also tell him that the Muslims of the world would see their first victory in Ghazwa e Hind, and how the army should plan for that. After listening to my talk, the army chief says, Listen to me, Qasim. These are all dreams, and they have no relationship with reality. We are doing everything for the defense of Pakistan. It's a tough time right now, but we will take care of everything. The dream ended there.